Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist. I'd like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. If you enjoy videos about medicine and feet, hit that subscribe button. Well, in this video, we're going to discuss the difference between arteries and veins so that we better understand how circulation works. Oftentimes, this discussion will come up in my practice when I have an individual who is sitting in my chair and has chronically swollen feet. You have to understand how this works, otherwise you're not going to understand what's causing those swollen feet. So we have arteries and we have veins. Both of them act like hoses to transport blood somewhere. Arteries bring oxygen-rich blood to the foot. Veins will bring the deoxygenated blood back to the heart to get refilled up with oxygen again. Arteries are deeper within the leg and foot to protect them because they are so vital. To better understand these two structures, let's actually do a cross section. A cross section is when we cut the hose in half and we look at it from the center. Let's look at the artery first. So the artery has a very large wall and it, the wall is filled with muscle. In the center of the artery is the lumen. The lumen is the channel which the blood flows through. The important thing about the artery is that it actually has a muscle that helps to squeeze the blood even against gravity to its destination. That's very, very important. That's how an artery works. Now let's take a look at the vein. Quite a bit different. So the vein, it has a wall, but it doesn't have the muscle to help squeeze the blood back. So how does the blood get down from the foot all the way back to the heart? Well, we have muscles in our legs, and when we walk, those muscles help to squeeze the blood back up the leg. Now we don't want the blood to fall back down the leg again and so veins have valves that will open and then snap shut and when they shut they prevent the blood from going back down into the foot. But it is critical that one be walking or at least have the leg elevated in order to permit the blood to get back up to the heart. Why is this so important? Well, a lot of the patients that I see that are complaining of this peripheral edema, which basically means swollen ankles, okay, they're senior citizens. They're not doing as much walking. Maybe they have arthritis in their knees now, so they prefer to sit in their chair. And Well, if you're not walking, the muscles aren't squeezing those veins and the blood isn't going back up to the heart. And that poses a lot of problems, right? Because now we have this blood that is pooling down in the legs and the feet. And just like a pond, if the water doesn't move, if it just becomes still, you know, it breeds problems, right? A pond will breed mosquitoes and, and, and just diseases and stuff like that. Well, if the blood pools in the leg, it can create stagnation. It, it can actually create ulcers in the skin. Doctors oftentimes will put patients on their water pills, like a diuretic, or they will give them compression stockings to help squeeze the blood back up to the leg. Or oftentimes patients are told, keep your feet elevated when you're sitting down to help the swelling. So I hope that brings a little clarification, the difference between an artery and the vein and better understanding how circulation works. If this video was helpful for you, please do give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate those thumbs ups. Thank you very, very much. And thanks for watching this video. I'm Dr. Dave, and I'll see you on my next one.